Hi boys and girls. In a previous lesson, we learned how to compare two numbers using greater than and less than to compare those numbers. Today, we are going to apply our knowledge of greater than and less than to be able to find one less, one more, 10 less, and 10 more of a three digit number using the two strategies. First strategy, find using a place value chart with base 10 blocks. And our second strategy, using a hundreds chart. So we're going to look at our first number, which is 548. And we're going to use a place value chart to find our one less one more, 10 less, and 10 more. So here you see we have our five hundreds, our four tens, and our eight ones. To find one more, I'm going to add one more one cube to my place value chart. So now I have 540, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 549. Now, boys and girls, using the place value chart again, I'm going to find one less. So to find one less, I want to take one of the ones away. So now, boys and girls, I can see that I have my five hundreds. I still have my four tens. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Now I'm going to use my place value chart to find ten more. In order to do that, boys and girls, using our place value chart and base 10 blocks, I want to add another 10 in my tens column. So now, boys and girls, I can see that I still have my five hundreds. Now I have one, two, three, four, five tens. One, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight ones. And now I'm going to use my place value chart and my base 10 blocks to show 10 less. The way I do that using my place value chart is to take away one of my 10 rods. So now, boys and girls, I can see that I have my five hundreds. Now I have three tens. And I have eight ones. Okay, now let's use our second strategy. And that is to use a hundreds chart to help us find one more, one less. 10 more, 10 less. The number I'm looking at is 724. So I'm going to use my hundreds chart and I'm going to put my chip on 24 because I have seven hundreds, two tens, and four ones. Now what I'm going to do is just like our little model here that we're putting our numbers in, we can make that same section here using our hundreds chart. So now I'm going to take some of my little bingo markers and I'm going to mark one more by moving one spot 
to the right in the same row. So now that's going to give me 725. And using our hundreds chart again, now I want to find one less. To find one more, I moved to the right one row. To find one less, I'm going to move to the left one row. So now I have 723. Because even though I have a three digit number, I'm only increasing my number by ones and tens. So I can use my hundreds chart to help me find my answer. Now, boys and girls, I want to add 10 more. To add 10 more using our hundreds chart, I'm going to go down one in that column. Because every time you go down one, you increase the amount by 10. So now I can see that I have 730. Four. And to be able to find 10 less, I need to do the opposite. So I need to move up the row. So now I'm decreasing my number by 10. So now I can see that I have 714. So boys and girls, we can see that in order to find more than or less than a number, we can use and apply two different strategies. We can use our place value chart and our base 10 blocks, or we can use our hundreds chart. Please, when you turn the video off, use your Math Talk bookmarks and talk about the strategies you saw in the video today. Thank you.